Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And now in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you another workaround method to the director mode glitch. It is working after patch 1.40. Now in the video where I did show you how to do the director mode glitch a couple of days ago, it did get quite a lot of support, but there is a lot of people saying it is now patched. So in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you a method that works for me 100% of the time. I will leave the founders link down below, so be sure to check them out. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Also, if you want to win yourself some modded accounts be sure to click some links in the description there is a link there for up to 10 modded accounts that i am hosting with bionicle and also a modded account giveaway that i'm doing with my friend reaction mods as well so be sure to go down in the description and click those links if you want to be entered into a modded account giveaway but yeah guys let's get into the video so guys, to get this glitch started, you need to make sure you are in single player. Once you're in single player, you're going to hold down on the interaction menu, go to the button and enter director mode. Now once director mode is loading up, what we're going to do from here is find a recent activity that does allow us to join GTA 5 online. So just press your PS button, go down to the recent activities and find one of those activities that does allow you to do this. Once you've found one of those, what you can actually do is double tap your PS button and it should bring you back to the game. So once you're in director mode, what you're going to do is just enter director mode with the character that you are. So I'm just going to enter with Franklin. Once you're in director mode, what you're going to do from here is just wait in there for around about 10 to 20 seconds. Then just hold down on the D-pad and go back to the trailer. Now once you are at the trailer and this menu does reappear, what you're going to do from here is just press your PS button. You're going to press X on Start GTA Online, but you're going to press Circle on the alert message. And what this should do now is bring up the director mode icon and you should be able to open up a separate interaction menu. And what you're going to do from here is go to user location and just press triangle on this. Then you're going to go down to the bottom where it does say return to casting trailer. So what should happen from here is it should reload and you should be back at the trailer again. What you're going to do is just simply enter director mode once again. And just as you see the character walking off, what you're going to do is double tap that PS button again. Go to start GTA online and press circle again on the alert screen. Now once you are in director mode, what you're going to do is hold down on your interaction menu, go to user location, you're going to press X on this, and what this should do is bring you back to the trailer, but you should actually be free to walk around. So you're just going to walk around for about 5 seconds, and then you're going to pull out any explosive like a rocket launcher, and you're just going to go ahead and kill yourself. Now this is a crucial part of the glitch guys, it's all about timing here, so once you do kill yourself and you do see the black starting to fade in, once you see that black fading in, what you're going to do is double tap your PS button, press GTA online and then spam X as quick as you can to accept the alert message. So guys what should happen from here is you should be in the clouds, so what you're going to do is press your PS button again, go to settings, you're going to go to network and disconnect the internet from your console. Now from here you should be alerted with another message saying you've lost connection, so this now should put you back in single player. Now you will know if you've got everything right and all the timings right, if it does kind of glitch out from here, so once you get back into single player, your character should either walk off or it should do this weird animation where it does kind of put you back at the trailer. Now if you can't see your character, just go up and down on the interaction menu and your character should then reappear at the trailer. So yeah guys, you should have done everything right from now on. So what you guys are going to do from here is head over to the settings, you're going to go down to invincibility and you're going to turn this on. So once you've done that you can then go ahead and re-enter director mode once again. Now what should happen once you're in director mode is you should kind of fall from the sky but as we turned on invincibility you shouldn't die. So once you are in the director mode you should also notice that you are still in single player as well. So yeah guys if you press start you will see all the single player icons and of course you will still have director mode as well. So yeah guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you did find it helpful. If you want to use this glitch to transfer outfits from female to male or male to female, then be sure to check out some of my other videos I have done where I have showed you how to get the coloured joggers and also invisible legs. I'll leave them linked in the description. And if you want me to do more videos on this director mode glitch, be sure to let me know down below as well. But yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.